This is Dennis McMahon, and welcome to Positively Vermont. And today, our special guest is Sandy Tebow, Executive Director of the Chittenden Area Transportation Management Association, otherwise known as CATMA. Uh, and we have some very interesting uh, things to talk about, uh, facilitating transportation, getting to and from work, and everywhere else in uh, Chittenden County. Uh, so welcome, Sam. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Give us uh, your background. Sure. Uh, so Sandy Tebow, Executive Director at CATMA. I have been the Executive Director here at CATMA since 2012. I actually joined CATMA in 2002. Um, so have been here uh, well over 20 years. And um, I just really enjoyed the mission of the organization and working with the um, with our membership and trying to help people find ways to get to work other than driving alone has been really fun. So I'm a Champlain College graduate um, and it's wonderful to be here today. Thank you. Tell us, uh, what is this group? How did it get started? Is it a state agency or is it a private facility? Uh, give us the, the history and scope of, of CAP. Sure. So CATMA is a nonprofit membership-based organization. We're 501c3. We were established back in 1992 by the three Burlington Hill institutions, Champlain College, the University of Vermont, and the UVM Medical Center. And the mission is to jointly plan transportation and park in, in collaborative ways that better coordinate land use, reduce environmental impacts, and provide alternative transportation options for, for the employees and students um, on the Hill. In 2015, we expanded to a regional association, which means we opened up membership to businesses and developers in Chittenden County that were seeking help to inspire their employees or their residents to use alternative transportation options, such as biking and walking taking the bus, carpooling, and, and now telework support uh, post-COVID. We also created a transportation coordinator network that any business developer or municipality can join for free. The member simply designates a person at the site to serve as the coordinator and CATMA's point of contact. We keep the coordinator informed on transportation, such as bike workshops, transit schedule changes, route changes, and other local events that they can share at their site. We have about 90 members in our network today, and it continues to grow. Um, we know working together is a recipe for success. So CATMA will continue to serve as a leader and the regional gateway connecting major institutions and employers and developers in Chittenden County with sustainable and effective travel options and solutions. So that's just a little overview of who CATMA is and, and how we were founded. That sounds like a very daunting task. Can you give us an idea of the, the transportation picture in Chittenden County and the surrounding areas? Uh, what are the, the basic modes that people use to get to work or uh, for entertainment? Uh, what, what are you dealing with? Yeah, so we have, um, you know, programs here at CATMA that we provide to our membership. So we have um, incentives um, for people that bike and walk to work. Um, that helps people to think about rather than getting in a car, you know, that maybe I could bike or walk to work. Um, we have Green Mountain Transit. We have a great transit system um, here in Chittenden County and throughout the state. And they have been operating fare free um, since March, 2020, um, when the pandemic hit. And so transit is a great option for people to travel within Chittenden County. Uh, Green Mountain Transit also has routes that serve St. Albans and Middlebury and Montpelier that come into Burlington. Um, so those are excellent um, travel options for people. 
Um, we have a regional electric assist bike share program that just launched here in the cities of Burlington, South Burlington and Winooski uh, this summer. Um, so people um, can simply create an account on the BIRD app, BIRD is the vendor, and then they can use these bikes to travel um, to and from work, to get their groceries, to do errands, appointments. Um, they're very accessible um, to folks and um, easy to use. They can take the bike to get to a transit stop. So it kind of can serve as the first last mile solution. Um, and we have Car Share Vermont as a local nonprofit that offers great programs and services um, here in the Burlington area. And then there's carpooling and there's van pooling. There's people can park at the park and ride and maybe take a bus or hop in a car um, with a coworker or someone in the in the community. So there's certainly a number of transportation options. I think for Katma, it's about providing our members and our community with the information and the support that they need um, to take these modes because behavior change, you know, is, is hard. Um, it takes time. So those are some of the, you know, essential uh, transportation options in our community. What about the, the specialized uh, uh, services like SSTA? Uh, do you work with uh, those groups? Katma does not. Um, but that certainly is a service available for folks. So this is primarily for people who are mobile and, and getting to work or uh, medical appointments or, or things like that. Yeah, pretty much uh, we work with uh, employers and developers um, to help um, their employees get to work other than driving alone. Um, so that eliminates the parking demand for an institution or a city or a developer. Parking is very expensive to build and maintain. And we really wanna create that culture and environment. Um, we are in a climate crisis. Um, so this is serious, you know, for people to think about how they are traveling around, um, but primarily Katma works with um, employers and developers. It must be in a, a transition or an interesting period now because you you did have this remote situation during the pandemic, and and a lot of places are coming out of it now, expecting their employees to be back physically. Uh, how are you coping with that? Uh, so for Katma, I mean every employer is um, handling um, the telework policies at their workplace. Um, what CATMA does is provide some telework support um, and resources on our website for employers um, or commuters, you know, how to talk about this. Um, so we simply provide the resources and tools uh, for employers and commuters, um, but every um, employer really develops their own policy. And I will say, I think it continues to be updated. Um, you know, we have hybrid schedules. People are... Um, coming into the office or to the work site, you know, two or three days a week and then working at home two or three days a week. Um, so I think it continues to evolve and we conduct annual surveys for our members um, that we are working to monitor those trends. Um, what is the transit use? What is the biking use? Um, what is telework um, looking like at the employer? So I really think uh, we're looking at baseline data post pandemic um, because life has changed. Uh, traveling has changed, a lot has changed. Um, so we'll continue to monitor those trends. Okay. And what is, um, uh... You're going to have a transportation summit. Tell us, tell us about that. We are. Um, so last year we held our inaugural um, transportation summit. Um, we Katma took the initiative and led the summit. Um, we wanted to provide a space to bring people together to learn, um, to share, and discuss current transportation, post-pandemic environment. What are the services? What are the programs, policies, and funding available? Um, so this is will be an annual summit. So our second summit is going to be held on Thursday, October 12th, 2023 at the UVM Davis Center. It is an in-person event um, that is made possible by our incredible, generous sponsors. Um, 
Our theme this year is transportation means business. And that was inspired by CATMA receiving calls from employers that are challenged with recruiting employees because of a lack of transportation um, or re and retaining those employees. Um, and I really felt like housing is a challenge right now. Um, some employers are now building their own housing. For, um, we have, um, you know, economic development impacts um, with transportation. So it seemed like a really timely theme um, for the summit this year. Transportation is really complicated. It's really challenging. Um, and everyone deserves the right to travel safely and affordably. Um, and no matter what age, ability, income, or race, um, our program, just really quick, if I can give a quick snapshot of our summit program, where we will have a morning keynote address by Michelle Boomhauer um, at the Agency of Transportation. And then we have a really engaging panel that's gonna discuss jobs, housing, and vibrant growth, improving transportation connections equitably. We have some incredible panelists. And then we'll have some um, breakouts uh, sessions in the afternoon that will be broken out into uh, four tracks, housing and workforce, equity and justice, smart growth, and mobility solutions. And attendees can attend whatever session they are interested in. And then we have a closing keynote legislative panel this year um, who's gonna reflect on the conversations they heard throughout the day. Um, and share with us some of the priorities for the upcoming legislative session regarding transportation, housing, and jobs. We have Senator Tom Chittenden, Senator Keisha Ram Hinsdale, Representative Emily Krasnow, and Representative Kate Lotley. So I hope that people will join us for the summit. Um, share the event with your colleagues. It's going to be a great space to network. Uh, to strengthen those connections, uh, learn from professionals, and people can simply go to the CATMA website, catmavt.org, and register for the summit, see the programs and the speakers and the day's events. And we have general admission tickets that will be on sale through this Friday, September 30th. So I hope, I hope folks and employers and developers will join us. We'll have a good number of le legislators and policymakers in the room. And, and it's important for people to hear the transporta transportation challenges. Well, this is um, very interesting. Could you maybe just tell us, uh, one of your roles is advocacy. Uh, and Congress is in session and the legislature will be coming up again in 2024. Tell us what, what things you're interested in, in terms of advocacy and how people can help with that. So CATMA does do some advocacy work um, as a nonprofit um, and we participate in local, regional and state projects um, that explore and identify upgrades to infrastructure and mobility improvements. It could be corridor projects, it could be um, uh, the Winooski Bridge, it could be Colchester Avenue, um, Exit 14 Bike Ped Bridge. So we're at the table um, for any of those projects. We also provide testimony to the state uh, transportation committees um, advocating for funding and policy to support transportation demand management. Uh, that's a industry jargon term. The acronym is TDM. Um, and basically, it's a set of strategies to help people um, get out of their cars and use other modes, such as biking and walking and transit. Um, we work with our transportation providers really closely. We have great relationships with Green Mountain Transit and Locomotion and CarShare Vermont and the Go Vermont uh, program. Um, and we just wanna ensure that our members and our community's needs are being addressed. Um, to the best way possible with the funding and policies that are in place. Um, we work with municipalities that are exploring and implementing TDM policy. Um, and we're an active member in the Transportation for Vermonters Coalition. Um, this has been in operation since 2017. It's a group of individuals, organizations, businesses, and institutions that are committed to working together across all sectors 
to achieve sustainable, accessible transportation in our rural state. So I encourage um, anyone to, you know, follow the legislative agenda on the website and they're always, you know, interested in hearing policy or challenges. So folks should feel free to um, reach out to their legislators on any transportation matters. That's great, Cindy. This has been very helpful. What I'd like to, to conclude with is what do you need or what do you want from the, the general public uh, uh, or businesses uh, in order to uh, assist the goals you've mentioned today? What can people do to help? Well, I think what people can do is really think about, you know, how they are traveling and getting around. Do I need to get in my car? Can I carpool with my neighbor? Um, even if it's one or two days a week. Um, again, you know, people have some hybrid schedules now. Um, so maybe you're, they're not going in the office every day or to the work site, but consider if you could carpool with someone in your community. CATMA has a trip planning tool on our website. Uh, Go Vermont has a carpool uh, solutions platform um, for the entire state. So I would just ask people to take a look at what the best schedules are. You know, can can you take a bird bike to a transit stop and just really think about how you're getting around for employers, I would say, um, you know, take a look at the CATMA website, we offer turnkey uh, comprehensive programs, incentives and services. Um, and join our transportation coordinator network. As I mentioned, it's a free network. We're just really trying to get more employers at the table um, to hear um, their voices and what their challenges are. Um, so I would encourage employers to take a look at the CATMA website, um, to look, look at our transportation coordinator network, look at our membership plan and package. And for commuters, I would just, I would just recommend that they think about how they're commuting every day um, or, or doing their errands. So we have to work at this together where we have a climate crisis, we need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and CATMA is, is a part of the solution. That's great. Could you just tell us the website? We're gonna publish it uh, on the titles, but what is it? Could you verbally tell us what it is? Yes, absolutely. It's CATMA, C-A-T-M-A, V-T, dot org katma vt dot org excellent well that's great and uh we'll be in touch in the future to see uh what progress you're making uh and i want to thank you for appearing on positively vermont uh this is dennis mcmahon my guest has been sandy tebolt of the executive director of the chitman area transportation management association thank you for watching